Hey everyone, it's David Phelps from the Freedom Founders Mastermind Community. Got a great question this week, and it's probably one that you have in your own mind, and the question is, David, how long will it take to achieve freedom? Big, big question, but a very powerful question. First of all, we've got to define freedom. What does freedom mean to you? It's going to be different for everybody. For some people, freedom means uh, lying on the beach with uh, nothing to have to do at all. Uh, no work, uh, just just goofing off, you know, having, a, having a total... Uh, diversion from from work. Maybe they even call it retirement, whatever you want to call it. Uh, that could be one person's definition of freedom. For others, it could be just having the option to work or give back or be productive or be significant in life. For some, it would mean uh, just you know having more balance, more free time, less stress. Uh, so first of all, you've got to decide what is your definition of freedom. And whatever that is, then we can start to put a dollar figure, a monthly amount of income, cash flow that you need to have that comes in when you're not working, in other words, you're through with work. You don't have to work, you could be working, but you don't have to work, that's a key. So you've essentially put your money into assets, whether it's a business or real estate or both, that will now replace that active income that you need to sustain whatever your lifestyle looks like when you are in your freedom mode. From there, we take that and we work it backwards to where you are today. What do you have today? What's your business look like? What's your liabilities look like? Your, your lifestyle burn rate? What's it take to, 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 to live your lifestyle with the way you and your family have decided to live based on your decisions? All these things have to come into play and then we can map out a pretty predictable blueprint and tell you is it going to take you, based on where you are today, some of our doctors and freedom founders, it's taken them only two years. Now, granted, they've been down the road, they've been 20, 25 years in practice and their kids are through school, right? So it's easier for them. We've had some that have taken and, and shrunken a time frame that they thought was going to be 10 years, you know, down to three years. Uh, it's very possible. If you're younger, then obviously you're not going to shrink down your time frame going to freedom. Uh, from uh, from 20 years to, uh, to to three years. That's not going to happen. But what if we could take 20 years or 25 years or 30 years and shrink that down to 10? What would that look like for you? How would that feel for you to know that if you do things the right way that you could essentially be free in 10 years? Most of the people that come to Freedom Founders, if they follow our plan, five to seven years, they're done. As I said, many have done it in less. It just depends on upon where you are, your commitment to taking action on the plan, what your lifestyle needs are today and for the future, and really what you're willing to do in terms of orchestrating your own financial freedom with the framework that a mastermind group that gives you advice and access to the right deal flow can give you. Those are some of the keys. I hope that helps you with deciding how to set up your Freedom Blueprint. And as always, remember, stay freedom focused. David Phelps, over and out.